Hello DIYers. This is a Power Wizard 1.1. This time this generator has starting problem I already checked the fuel the tank is full, battery voltage is okay. I'm going to crank for you guys please watch closer see what is happening. It is going to take few seconds. Please watch closer. As you can see it is cranking but not starting. In this case I'm going to check the fuel shut off solenoid or fuel cut solenoid at the injection pump whatever you guys call in your local language please let me know in the comment section below. Remember, injection pump solenoid and the prime pumps they are sharing the same circuits. I'm going to activate the prime pump and we will have 180 second in this time we can check the power by multimeter. You can also crank to check the voltage at the solenoid but the safest way is priming. Now the prime pump should run and the same time injection pumps cut solenoid should also engage. Let's check it. Turn on the multimeters and put it on DC volt settings. Now check the voltage the reading should be above 12 volts. My reading is 4.7 it is pretty low. To make sure this solenoid is healthy remove the positive connector attached with your positive side of your multimeters probe and hold the negative probe at the engine or any other place where have a reliable ground. The reading is 10.45 it is low. Watch it closer. It is 10 volts. I'm going to check with the negative wire. Ten point seven volts. Reconnect the wires and see how much is the voltage dorp in the circuits. Here I'm losing about eight point one. I'm going to check the input and the output of fuel control relay. This is the fuel control relay. I'm going to check the input of the relay first. This is the input side of the relay or relay feeding side and the other side is the output. And these two side is the relay control. Positive side of the probe I'm going to connect the relay input or feeding side. And the negative side of my probe to the ground or negatives. There is 12 volts no voltage drop. Now I'm going to check the output of the relay. Gently connect the harness back to relay and leave a small gap for multimeters probe and check the output voltage of the relay. Don't forget switch the fuel prime pump on. Twelve volts I'm happy there is no voltage drop. Now definitely I'm going to check the whole circuits for loose connections or corrosion. Pin number 23 is the positive 12 volt and it is controlled by FCR relay. I hope you guys can see it clearly.
It goes all the way and there is a splice where fuel prime pump circuit and injection pump solenoid circuit joins. Sometimes you will find corrosion at splice where these wires joined. There are so many wires I'm trying to show you the target circuits which goes individually one to the fuel prime pump and the second one goes to the fuel cut solenoid. As you can see from splice to the solenoid there is another join this wire has so many join I don't like these joins I will replace the whole circuits. Which energize this solenoid. Look at this splice is so much corrosion I'm going to cut this and rejoin them. Please look closer. I test this circuit one more time by reading the same as I test at the generator. I applied 12 volts. As you can see at the splice 10 volts we are losing 2 volts. I replace the wires as you can see now there is brown and blue. The brown wire is positive and the blue wire is negative. The brown positive circuit goes to the splice and from splice the main circuit is going all the way and connected to the pin 23. Now it is ready I'm going to take it to the generator and connect all the harness. I have plugged in all the harness, we are ready to start the engine and test it. Actually the positive side was corroded but I replaced both of them. Let's start the generator and confirm. As you can see at the parameter everything is okay the generator is running smoothly. If this video helped you up please subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell. If you have any command about how to improve this channel and which kind of DIY videos you like to watch through this channel let us know. Thanks for watching.